Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. So now, picture this. It's the 2024 Paris Olympics. The world's finest athletes are gathered to showcase their superhuman abilities. But forget about the high jumps and sprints, because the real action is happening in the VIP section, and it's a showdown that would make even the most dramatic reality TV producer blush with envy. In one corner, we have the Duchess of Sussex herself, Meghan Markle, former actress, former royal, full-time headline generator, and in the other corner, the Ice Queen of Fashion, the devil who actually wears Prada, Anna Wintour. Now, before we dive into the nitty-gritty of this fashionable fracas, let me just say, this is the kind of drama that makes me wish I had a lifetime supply of popcorn and a comfy chair with a seatbelt, because, folks, this ride is about to get bumpy. So there we are, day 12 of the Olympics. The sun is shining, the athletes are sweating, and the VIP section is more star-studded than a telescope pointed at the Milky Way. And who should waltz in, looking like she's ready for a Vogue cover shoot rather than a track and field event? None other than Meghan Markle. Now, Meghan's been causing quite a stir at these games. She's been using her platform to voice her opinions on everything from the IOC's policies to the color of the track. It's like she thinks she's at a TE talk instead of a sporting event. But hey, when you're a former royal, I guess every day is a chance to make a speech, right? But here's where it gets interesting, folks. Just a few rows behind Meghan, sitting like a statue card from Ice and Hairspray, is Anna Wintour. And let me tell you, if looks could kill, Meghan would have been vaporized faster than you can say fashion faux pas. Now, Anna Wintour is known for her poker face. This woman could watch paint dry and not even blink. But on this day, something snapped. Maybe it was the heat. Maybe it was the fact that Meghan's hat was blocking her view. Or maybe, just maybe, it was years of pent-up fashion fury finally boiling over. Because suddenly, out of nowhere, Anna Wintour, the woman who probably hasn't raised her voice since 1989, starts yelling. And I'm not talking about a polite excuse me. I'm talking full-on, Broadway musical final level yelling. Take her out, she screams, pointing at Megan like she's ordering the removal of last season's handbags. Can you imagine? The woman who spent decades cultivating an image cooler than a penguin's bottom suddenly loses it like a toddler who's been told they can't have ice cream for dinner. It's like watching the Statue of Liberty do the Macarena. Shocking, slightly terrifying, but you just can't look away. And poor Megan, she's sitting there, waving at the cameras, probably planning her next inspirational Instagram post, completely oblivious to the fashion fatwa that's just been issued against her. It's like watching a gazelle happily munching grass while a lion sneaks up behind it. You want to yell, look out, but you're too busy picking your jaw up off the floor. But folks, this is where it goes from drama to full-on soap opera. Because faster than you can say Olympic sprint, a team of security guards descends on Megan's seat. Now, these aren't your average mall cops. These are beefy, or beast wearing sunglasses at night type security guards the kind that make the rock look like a pebble. And before Megan can even finish her wave to the cameras, these guards are grabbing her arms and practically lifting her out of her seat. It's like watching a scene from a bad action movie, except the damsel in distress is wearing designer labels and the villains are following orders from the Queen of Vogue. Megan, bless her heart, is completely blindsided. One minute she's cheering on athletes, the next she's being manhandled out of the stadium faster than you can say fashion emergency. She's shrieking. She's flailing. She's probably wondering if this is some bizarre British tradition she never learned about during her brief stint as a royal. And the security guards. They're about as sympathetic as a brick wall. When Meghan asks what's happening, they drop the bomb. Direct orders from Miss Wintour. It's like finding out that Santa Claus has put you on the naughty list and sent his elves to rough you up. Now, let's pause for a moment and consider the sheer absurdity of this situation. We've got one of the most famous women in the world being forcibly removed from the Olympics, not because she broke any rules, not because she was causing a disturbance, but because the editor of a fashion magazine said so. 
It's like being kicked out of a restaurant because Gordon Ramsay doesn't like your outfit. It's ridiculous, it's outrageous, and it's absolutely riveting television. And speaking of television, this whole debacle is unfolding live on international broadcasts. Commentators who were probably in the middle of discussing javelin techniques suddenly find themselves narrating a real-life episode of Real Housewives of the Olympics. You can almost hear the confusion in their voices as they try to make sense of what they're seeing. And in an unexpected turn of events, it appears that Meghan Markle is being escorted out of the stadium by security. Is this part of a new Olympic event we weren't informed about? Meanwhile, the crowd in the stadium is watching this unfold with a mixture of shock, confusion, and let's be honest, a little bit of glee. Because let's face it, folks, there's nothing quite like watching a bit of high-profile drama to spice up your day at the Olympics. It's like they got tickets to two shows for the price of one. And through it all, there's Anna Wintour sitting in her seat, probably adjusting her sunglasses and looking like she just ordered a coffee, not the exile of a duchess. This woman has seen trends come and go, she's weathered fashion disasters and triumphs, but I bet even she never thought she'd be the cause of an Olympic-sized scandal. So Megan's been escorted out, bundled into a black SUV like she's in a spy movie, and whisked away from the Olympic Stadium. And just like that, in less than five minutes, we've witnessed a scene that's going to be talked about for years to come. Move over, wardrobe malfunction at the Super Bowl. There's a new scandalous moment in sports history. But here's the thing, folks. This isn't just about one dramatic day at the Olympics. Oh no, this is just the explosive climax of a rivalry that's been simmering for years. Megan and Anna. They're like oil and water, like stripes and polka dots, like wearing white after Labor Day. They just don't mix. You see... When Meghan burst onto the royal scene back in 2018, she wasn't content with just being a princess. Oh no, she wanted to be a fashion icon too. And in the world of fashion, there's only room for one queen, and her name is Anna Wintour. Imagine the scene. Meghan, fresh-faced and eager, ready to take the fashion world by storm. She's gracing magazine covers, she's buddling up with designers, she's turning every public appearance into a runway show. And there's Anna Wintour, watching from her fashion throne, probably thinking, who does this upstart think she is? It's like watching a fashion-forward version of All About Eve. Megan, the ambitious newcomer, trying to elbow her way into Anna's territory. And Anna, well, she's not about to let some former cable TV actress turned royal upstart steal her thunder. But it's not just about fashion, oh no. When Meghan started using her platform to voice her political views, that's when things really got heated. See, Anna Wintour might look like she's all about hemlines and handbags, but she's got some deep-rooted establishment views. She's practically British aristocracy by proxy. So when Meghan starts airing the royal family's dirty laundry on Oprah, criticizing the very institution that Anna holds so dear, well, that's when Anna probably started seeing red, or maybe a very unfashionable shade of puce. It's like a clash of two worlds. Meghan, the modern, outspoken, politically active duchess, versus Anna, the guardian of tradition, the keeper of the fashion flame. It's new school versus old school, played out on the global stage with designer clothes and perfectly coiffed hair. And let's not forget... Folks, this is all happening against the backdrop of the Olympics. You know, that event that's supposed to be about international unity and sportsmanship. Yeah, apparently nobody told these two that. They're turning the Olympic rings into a wrestling ring, and they're both going for gold in the grudge-holding event. But here's the kicker. In trying to remove Megan from the spotlight, Anna might have just pushed her even further into it. I mean, come on. Being dramatically escorted out of the Olympics on live TV... That's the kind of publicity you just can't buy. Megan's probably already got a Netflix deal for a documentary about the incident. And Anna, well, she might have won the battle, but the war is far from over. Her Ice Queen image has taken a serious hit. It's hard to be intimidating when the whole world has seen you throw a temper tantrum like a toddler who's had their favorite toy taken away. But you know what? In a weird way, this whole debacle is a testament to the power these women wield. Think about it. With just a few words, Anna Wintour managed to have one of the most famous women in the world removed from the Olympics. That's some serious clout. Folks, 
It's like she's got a real-life delete button for people she doesn't like. And Megan, well, she might have been escorted out, but you can bet your bottom dollar she's not going to stay quiet about this. She's probably already planning her comeback, and it's going to be more dramatic than a season final of The Crown. In the end, this clash of the titans is more than just a juicy piece of gossip. It's a reflection of the power struggles and changing dynamics in our celebrity-obsessed world. It's old guard versus new guard, tradition versus change, the establishment versus the upstart. And let's be real, it's also ridiculously entertaining. It's like watching a high-stakes game of chess, if chess pieces wore coucher and had personal publicists. So what's next in this fashionable feud? Will Meghan strike back with a tell-all interview? Will Anna ban her from the pages of Vogue for life? Will the Olympic Committee have to start doing background checks on their VIP guests? One thing's for sure, this story is far from over. These two powerful women aren't going to let a little thing like an international incident at the Olympics slow them down. They're probably both already planning their next moves, like fashion-forward chess masters. So stay tuned, my friends. Because if there's one thing I've learned from watching the Royals, it's that the drama never stops. And neither do I. Until then, folks, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the Royal family. Thank you.